The LAC operon is a bacterial system for regulating genes that control the utilization of a disaccharide, lactose. The operon controls expression of genes for beta-galactosidase, which splits the disaccharide, permease, which transports lactose into the cell, and transacetylase. These structural genes are transcribed when RNA polymerase can bind the promoter controlling them. When there is no lactose in the cell's environment, it would be wasteful of the cell to make these proteins. The cell keeps the RNA polymerase binding site turned off. Let's see how. Upstream from the LAC operon is a regulatory gene, LAC-I, which encodes a repressor protein. The repressor tetramer is slowly but continuously produced by the cell. Now let's look at the control sequences, the promoter and operator, for the structural genes. The operator overlaps the promoter. If a repressor molecule is present, it can bind the LAC operator. It doesn't stick to the DNA like glue, but continually binds and releases, so the operator is not bound by the repressor at all times, and structural genes are transcribed at low, or basal, levels. When there is little lactose present, there is no reason to waste energy making the enzymes to process it. But what happens when there is a lot of lactose to process and the cell must use it as its carbon source? The repressor proteins have sites that bind lactose. Lactose binding causes a change in the shape of the repressor so that it can no longer bind the operator. Without competition for the promoter, RNA polymerase can repeatedly transcribe the structural genes and translation of the now abundant mRNAs makes the enzyme for processing lactose. The LAC operon is an inducible system and lactose is its inducer.